Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another shoe unboxing. And today I have a special shoe unboxing. And right here you can see the gold Jordan logo. And right here I have the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. And this is the black with the yellow and the white. So it's also known as the yellow toe. So let's open this and see. Okay, let's first look out of the box and you know, just a regular Jordan box with the gold number 23. Information here, this thing retail at $120. And the box is pretty plain. The other side has the 23. Over here has the Jordan Jumpman and the top has the Jordan Jumpman logo in gold. So right here, the first thing you notice is the paper. It says all 23. Very nice design. I really like it. And look at this. Freaking nice. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's open and check out the other side too. And my sister got this for me and she got it for 120 bucks at Foot Locker. And let's take the box out of the way. Let's check out the shoe itself. So first thing you notice, this is the yellow toe Air Jordan. It comes with three colors, yellow, black, and white. And right here, it still has the Jordan logo right here, Air Jordan with the wings. Right here, it looks like a regular Air Jordan one. Nothing special here. It's a little jump man with the Air logo right there. Look at this. And if you really, this is the SE version, so the difference is they use more premium leather. And this is more like a suede nubuck material over right here, the yellow and the black. So let's look closely. It's, it's pretty premium, but it's not grain leather like the Air Jordan 1 high. Then use the like grain leather instead of like plain white. This is more leather, it's not as durable and, and super hard. So that's the difference. In the Air Jordan 1 high and the mid tops, the only difference is like a half an inch taller. And it's the same silhouette as you can see. Right here it comes with a beautiful black swoosh in the bottom. It's basically the same as the Air Jordan 1 high or the lows. The bottom's all the same. So as you guys can see, this is yellow. And there's a little air bubble inside right here but you don't see it but let's look at the inside so this shoe came out in like middle of 2019 I don't know if you can see it it says May 2019 my sister just got it for me at Foot Locker and I don't really see this shoe a lot around Foot Locker around here she went to LA and got me these and are you like a Jordan Lowe's or Jordan Mid or Jordan High uh, shoe kind of guy for me, I prefer the mid top than the high top because, you know, it's too high sometimes it's like in the way of the ankle. I don't really ball in this kind of shoe. So I just like to wear them, just go shopping, hang out. So what's so special about the shoe? This shoe is crafted with pride. The Air Jordan 1 Mid SE takes the shoe to what you already love, your Air Jordan 1 high. So it makes much better hit the court with these premium Edition special edition shoe featuring durable material like pan leather paired with a vibrant colorway or a unique spin on the classic look and the shoe does not Go old so this classic is always gonna be around Actually, they made a, the Air Jordan mid in almost every color you can think of If you go on Foot Locker right now or finish line they have every single colorway you could find the black and blue, the red and black, the white and red, any colorway you could think of, they made in Air Jordan 1. And this is the classic construction with the modern twist. The Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. Enjoy the premium and the patent leather combined with the detail element of the corduroy con canvas and orange peel. Different shoe, a different colorway comes with different types. This one comes with the new buff. So the choice is yours. You know, this is like best performance on and off the court. And this shoe is very low profile. If you 
not used to the Air Jordan 1, at first you need to break them in. You know, you're gonna wear it, you say, oh man, this shoe is so tough on my sole. Don't expect this shoe to be like the Adidas Boost or the React, okay? Or the Air, the Air Max. So this shoe is kind of hard to begin with, but you have to break them in. And the Air Sole does come with a little bit of cushioning on the heel, but that's about it. But in the front, it's very thin, so no Air Sole in the front. So as you can see, this shoe is awesome. You know, if you like the classic look, this is shoe's a must. And it's not that bad either. Uh, Sometimes I see this shoe go down to like $79. Depends on the colorway. Um, if you, you get it on sale, sometimes you get an extra 20% off at Foot Locker. So, yeah, this one's nice. Let's put them on my feet and see how it looks like. So what's up guys so yeah you saw it on my feet this shoe does feel good and you gotta have to get used to it and break them in but yeah I'm used to these kind of shoes it's because I've been wearing Jordan 1 mid for a while and the cool thing about this shoe is it comes with little this little things right here and look at that. this is with Jordan logo it has a size 12 so this thing fits inside so your shoe will stay in good shape and you don't lose the shape so you know it's important if you're a shoe collector you have these kind of stuff inside your shoe okay so inside this thing is just black insole with the yellow jump man as you can see this is size 12 and the insole uh, is just normal black and it's cushioning enough to make you feel comfortable walking around but by playing ball you get it and get you to recommend and here, I want to show you my uh, my other Air Jordan mid. And I got this a while back. Boom. I love this shoe. And this is a 2014 version. And as you know, this is like five and a half years, six years already. And this thing's still in good shape. And this one, I got it at Chic. And I got it for like around $90. It was on sale. So... Yeah, I just love this colorway. It's just black, red, and white. You know, it's like the bread colorway. As you can see, if you compare it, it's exactly the same. You know, it doesn't change. The Jordan 1 mid stay the same. Um, for the SE, they use better new buck material. This one is more like a canvas and hard leather. It's not as good. So you want good leather, tumble leather, green leather, then you should go with the Jordan 1 High. And it comes with way better leather than the Jordan Mid. As you can see here, is there some like creasing? But I had this shoe for a while. It barely worn down, you know? Look in the, the outsole. See the bottom? Barely worn down. And this thing I wear for a long time, so the jump man is gone. So yeah. Let's go for the shoelaces and compare them. It's just a regular flat shoelaces. Nothing special like the Air, Air Jordan, just regular black. Um, right here is more like a canvas, and here is more like new book material. And this one, feel more premium, it flex better than this one. This one is super hard. So they did did a little bit improvement on the Air Jordan SE compared to the regular Air Jordan One Mid. And let's look at the back and do a comparison. This one has a little red jump in the back and the SD didn't. So a little bit different. So I guess like you know the, the wing is still there. If you look at it, the Air Jordan wing is still there. So yeah. This one is kind of you know black and red. It's hard to see in the camera. But this one is in black, so it's a lot easier to see it. But yeah, what do you think of the Air Jordan mid? I think they made it every single color in this one, so 
you know, it's just how you want to, you know, buy your shoe and how, what color you like. And it's very cheap too, you know, anywhere from like 90 to 120 bucks. I know like the Air Jordan High retail like 160, 150, or maybe 200, depends on the version. So yeah, right here, there's, there's little holes for like, you know, air to circulate and this one didn't have it. So that's the different because this is canvas, different kind of shoe. This one, a little bit better. So I hope you enjoy my on the feet and shoe review of the Air Jordan 1 Mid SC Yellow Toe. If you have any questions, please leave down in the comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get future notification of my new video. And please hit the like button and share. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next shoe review. Peace out.